Good morning and shalom. I am Hunter, and this is a sideways iPhone. I believe this is the start of a YouTube channel. Um, this is all the father's idea, not my own, really. But uh, here we are. Um, guess you can call this an introduction, I don't know, but here we are. Father told me to do this, and I figured I'd be obedient. And I'm only a few sips of coffee in, so bear with me. But, uh, I believe I'm going to start calling this Hooter and Torah. This is what my little YouTube handle has been called anyways. I'm just going to see where the father takes this. But this all came from a conviction, uh, I don't know, a few days ago. When uh, I was talking to, I guess I'll say a friend at work. He's not quite at the belief yet. But... Just getting there. I'm working on it. And it's not my story to tell, but he was gone a few days earlier this week, given a situation going on with his sister. And I believe it was a Friday, maybe even a Thursday, I'm not sure. Me and him were having a little talk. And given the current situation he was dealing with with his sister... I asked him if he prayed about it. And as y'all soon to find out, I find prayer a big deal. There is power in prayer. And he knows where I sit. So thus the talking began. And I don't know, just based on that conversation, I felt that was important. Something to share. Couldn't stop thinking about how great of a YouTube idea that was. And, well, thus here we are. Long story short, he said no. He said he hadn't prayed about it. And I was curious. I asked why. And he just told me, well gotten to a point in my life now where I feel like I only pray for things when I need them and I just feel that's a little unfair to the father I guess you know and that struck me a little bit <clears throat> because a few years ago before I started doing this that being my faith, I was in the exact same boat. I was going down a path. I didn't quite see fit. I started picking up some habits that I told myself I would never pick up, given that they were habits that I grew up seeing with my father, one being drinking. Which is funny, I wasn't even 21 yet, but thus it was already a problem. So, you can see how it could only get worse from there, right? Long story short, I looked around in my life and I realized something's not right. I need to change something. And then the spirit hit me like a ton of bricks, and I realized... Yeah, I haven't been very fair to the Father. The only time I'd pray when I need something. Same boat he was in. I didn't feel that was all fair to him. And thus my journey began. I decided to change my life, turn it around, to shuva, repent. 
I started coming back to the Father and the things He wanted me to do. And thus, through various sources, I started understanding how the whole Bible is to be believed true. The written word of Elohim, our Father God. Yahweh. I started my journey in following Torah and walking with our Messiah Yeshua. And I started praying more and more and I understood the power it had. And something I brought up to him was the idea that not only does it give you insight to your spiritual self and, you know, whatever else, but it also increases that relationship you build with the Father. And just like any other relationship, right, it's it's a two-way street, if you will. And just as me and him were having a conversation at that point, and even though we'll go to each other for stuff, right? There's still conversation to be had. There's still a relationship to be built in that. And that comes through conversation. One-on-one. Understanding each other, where you're at, and where you want to go. That's how you build a relationship. And I was explaining to this brother, that's pretty much the same thing when you pray and you know he, he's he came to a good realization I don't see any good out of only praying when you're in dire need either but I, I felt the need to stress the importance of making a habit of prayer for all kinds of things you could still pray when you need help because the father wants to help you he's there for you But, that being said, you also need to understand what he asks of you, you know? And when you start to realize that and you start walking down that path that he has set before you and start walking on your own, things start to go well for you. And that's just in my personal experience, but, you know, it all comes down to, sometimes you could see the puzzles, pieces moving in your life, and you could see him working in your life to <clears throat> get you going in the right direction. But, sometimes you don't see it clearly enough to move that direction, you just see the pieces moving, you don't understand them, and that, a lot of times, is what prayer does, it sinks you in, it it brings you closer to the Father, and He has time to put it on your heart, on what He is needing you to do in the situation, and I don't know who this conversation's for, and I don't know if, you know, I would assume somebody out there would watch this video at some point. But if that's you, if you're if you're at a place right now where you're realizing, I've been doing myself, my ways, for too long, and it's not working, and you're starting to realize there's something else needing to be done, just take into consideration the Father probably calling you back home and there's ways of doing that and maybe we shouldn't go into that in this video but start dwelling on the idea of your spirituality of your faith of what you believe in whatever background whatever area of the world you come from, whatever religion you come from, the Father's there for you. He's calling you back home. It all starts with a little prayer. 
starting to understand where you're at, where he wants you to be, what he asks you to do to get there. But that all being said, don't want to make this too long, but welcome to the channel. If this is even a channel by this point, it's all up to the Father. I'm giving it up to the Father. Don't know where it's going to go. But whatever journey he takes me on, and whoever follows, pray he can do great things with it. With that all being said, we'll catch y'all next time. Shalom.